Hi, today I'm gonna talk about A Fleur de Peau 2 Burdening Everyone by Deha released in March. So the expression A Fleur de Peau is French for uh, to the flower of the skin, which means skin deep sensibility. And it's amazing because it's linked to emotions, sensibility, and our skin is often, uh, often either full of uh, tattoos or full of scars or both. Uh, like if the emotions were literally incorporated into our skin uh, and I find it so beautiful if you see what I mean but I think it's not the main idea behind uh, this title uh, besides besides the cover shows uh, a rose so a flower and uh, it echoes the title so well done uh, so it's a two track album with two long tracks each of them lasting uh, about half an hour but it's more something that you feel than uh, something that you only listen to. Uh, by the way, let's listen to, uh, or the feel, uh, the beginning of the first uh, song. Then you have a slow rise in power, uh, perfect to begin your journey. Overall, you have amazing lyrics like a poetic punch in your face. You can feel that it's something he experiences or has experienced in uh, his real life. It's so uh, true, the feeling is so authentic. Uh, this feeling of being a burden to everyone. Uh, he speaks from the soul directly to the soul of the listener and it's an amazing dialogue or rather a monologue if you prefer, maybe. Um, and the feeling of being a burden to your family and friends really diffuses inside you at the rhythm of this real uh, work of art, really. Uh, uh, so I, I won't spoil, uh, but uh, the second to last verse has almost made me cry uh, the first time. And uh, by the way, the end, all the end of uh, this first part is really uh, intense and shows exactly how it feels to be uh, a numbskull burdening everyone, particularly well depicted. Uh, so I'll show you another extract of this first uh, part, which I find really uh, particularly cathartic. Concerning the second track, which is nothing else but uh, the rest of the first one, in fact, the lyrics are deep and hard to read and uh, the way he pronounces each word hurts uh, really badly because it's so emotional. Uh, it seems like it has been written in one go. Sometimes you have a calmer a calmer part of instrumental to let you breathe or cry if you prefer honestly i cried <laughs> uh, it's uh, all in uh, honesty and sincerity and it's so cathartic in uh, the good way i mean uh, the world thing is uh, amazing it fucking hurts but it hurts yeah in a good way uh, I also highly recommend you to read the interview of which I'll put the link in the description box with with all uh, the other links, of course, as always. It's uh, an interview of him talking about mental health and it's a great, great, great initiative. So it's a bit uh, long, but don't be scared. It's fucking interesting, really. Uh, I thank you a lot for watching and of course, stay safe.